chat GPT, but for samples. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Meek, welcome to my channel. Imagine having chat GPT's creative genius, but for music. Today, we're diving into a world where open AI meets music production. Courtesy of Output's new sample generator, Code Producer. I've been having a lot of fun with it. This is a way to get free samples royalty free. Today, we're gonna be diving into a world where open AI meets music production. So it's not a VST like Arcade and all of their other plugins and things like that. It's literally like a search engine, but for samples. And it's open AI means you can prompt it to search for you any kind of sample that you want to use and use it free, royalty free. So of course, your favorite tech person is going to be showing you how to get these samples on your iPad and it's a Logic Pro for iPad. The possibilities are endless. And once you download these samples, you own them forever. They're royalty free. So that's the best part. You don't have to pay for a subscription, at least not right now, it's free. So let's get right into unleashing a of AI on our iPad. So here we are on output.com. You want to just be on output.com. That's where you're going to go to get to the code producer. Now, the good thing about this is all you need is an account to have access to code producer and it's free. You don't have to put in your credit card or anything like that. I am not getting paid to do this, but I just wanted to show you because that's my niche. Output is my favorite company. So we're on output.com. You want to make your account. And if you already have an account, you want to go to log in. All right. So I'm all logged in. So after you've logged in, it's going to take you to your account. At least it does that for me. So you're going to be on your account screen. All you're going to do is click the output logo at the top to get back to where you can access the co-producer. So then we're back on this screen and then you want to click learn more. And you can check out this page. This is the founder. He is one of my heroes. Just in life, I just think it's so dope that he created a music company and he helps out creatives because his stuff is the best. Like, so then check out this page though. It just tells you, you know, about co-producer. Their UX, their UI is so smooth. This, it's in beta. I didn't say that in the introduction, but it's in beta. So this is new. This is something very new. So they're going to keep on expanding it, you know? So at the time of this video, it is free. Now, I don't know what they're going to do in the future. So when you click the learn more here, you can just click start creating. If you don't want to just be like me, I like to read everything. <laughs> But yeah, so start creating. So we are in enter prompt. You are going to have to step up your prompt engineering skills. Okay. We're all going to be better prompt engineers because AI is here. So for your prompt, you can describe a vibe, an instrument, an artist, a place, the key, the BPM. You can get very specific. So remember, be very detailed when you're using open AI, but see, let's describe something random. Let's see pizza, pizza, restaurant in the 1990s background music I, I probably could have said that better see i'm not the best prompt engineer yet so it's going to analyze our prompt so now it's rendering the audio now i do suggest only using safari to do this you can use the google chrome but safari is the best and we're going to get into that in a second. So here is my pizza restaurant background music in the 1990s. This is what it generated for me. Um, and if you like it, you can just put a thumbs up. And of course that thumbs up just helps the algorithm for when it's generating sample packs, probably with similar descriptors in the future for you. Like, and then thumbs down if you don't like something. So if you don't like the sample packs that they generated for you, you can generate four new packs with the same prompt. So let's go to generate four new packs. All right, I think pack three really hit it on the nose. Okay, I like it. I like it. Um, I was just trying something random. So let's try a different prompt. Let's try, hmm, I don't know, this is hard. I gotta think, I don't know, I gotta be specific. We're gonna try some Bossa Nova acoustic guitar samples. Heck yeah. That was fired at three. I love all of those, so I'm thumbsing up. 
all of them. Thumbs and up. So this is my favorite part. Your favorite self-proclaimed tech genius in tech support. I'm going to show you how to configure your iPad settings to be able to download your sample packs to a folder that you want them to go to. Okay. So you're going to do this every time you're in co-producer to make stuff easier for you. So let's do that. We're going to go to split screen. All right. Then we're going to go to our settings. So in your settings, we are here. So you want to type in Safari and you want to type in a Safari with the Safari icon, not the iCloud icon. So then I'm going to just close this keyboard for a second. And then we're going to go down here to where it says downloads under general. So this is where your downloads are routed when you download things from Safari. So it says store download files on iCloud drive or on my iPad, go to other. All right. So I want my downloads from the co-producer to be on my iPad and I'm going to create a folder for them to go to. So I'm going to click this folder button with a plus sign and I'm going to call it co-producer samples. I actually already got, already got a folder, but I'm doing this for y'all. All right. So after we make our folder, we're going to press open and then it's going to say co-producer samples next to the iPad icon. Alrighty. So boom. So now remove download list items after one day. I'm going to go to manually. All right. So then we're going to start downloading. I'm going to download all of these. And when you are downloading your samples, this arrow right here can show you what's downloading, but it's not downloading just yet. It's rendering the sample pack. All right. So then you're going to press download. It's going to ask you to download it. And then you can see this arrow pointing down It's showing us our downloads. So now we're going to click on this arrow after it's finished downloading. And as you can see, it said it downloaded the Bossa Nova guitar. So we're going to click this magnifier glass and it's going to show us where it downloaded to. All right. And it downloaded to co-producer samples. You see that? Now I found that downloading like three at a time sometimes causes issues. So I suggest downloading one or two at a time. One really is the safest way. So the reason we are in our settings is because we've downloaded everything that we wanted. And now we're going to just place our download files back to where they originally were, which is on your iCloud drive. Because if you download something in the future and you're going to be like, where did it go? And it's going to be in your co-producer folder and you're not going to think that it's there. You may not even remember that. So you want to do this, you know, as good maintenance. Here's my folder, co-producer samples. The co-producer sample packs download as zip files. And in these zip files are your stems and other audio files that come with the packs. So let's go to one, the Bossa Nova acoustic guitar, one sample pack. Just click it and it gives you a folder. And as you can see, it's two items. So we're going to just click the Chevron the arrow and as you can see the track stem they give you four stems then we got our sample packs all right so we got our percussion items so you get so much you got your bass so the track stems so this folder is the loop that you heard when you downloaded it this is the information for that so you can hear it's a mix <laughs> But it also has all of the stems for this mix individually. All right, so I'm gonna go to my um, pack generator is actually the folder that I've been using y'all. I've been doing this without y'all. Okay, so we're gonna go to our sample pack and we're gonna go to my guitar. I like that. So now let's go to Logic Pro and drag our samples in. I'm gonna do audio for now. So we're gonna go to audio. Now we're gonna go to slide over and we're gonna open our files. And I'm just gonna go to the sample that I wanted to use in my track. All right, so it's a tickler strum. Boom. Cool, we got that. Booyah. And also what I'm gonna do is drag in a drum sample. What I'm gonna do here is drag this into my sampler so I can sample these drums. I'm gonna drag it into quick sampler. And it's gonna chop everything up for me. All right, so let's go to these three dots again, full screen. Let's play. So what I'm going to do is click on this volume knob here in the middle. It's going to bring up my plugins that are on the track and I'm going to go to the quick sampler. And as you can see, it sliced up my drum sample and it's dope because it just finds the transit. So it defaultly slices your samples, but we can go to classic. It'll have the whole loop and you can just play it at different pitches if you want. I'm 
go to one shot. We got our guitar loop. It already tells me that it's at 84 BPM. So I'm gonna just put that in there. Okay, so let me see if I stretch it with a sound like faster. All right, so off rip, I'm gonna just change the key of the sample. So I'm in my information window and we're in region. I'm gonna go to general. I'm gonna go to transpose. So I changed the transposition to one. Just gonna show you some quick stuff you can do. I'm gonna add some EQ. All right, so then I'm gonna go to show presets. Okay, we're gonna go to guitar and then I'm gonna go to guitar suite and let's see. So now that I've edited my guitar a little bit, so now I'm gonna be adding the beat breaker to my guitar loop. Okay, so we're gonna do that by going to this track icon. All right, I'm gonna just push this plus sign next to where it says mix. And on my channel strip, I'm gonna just hit the plus sign. Under Logic Pro, I'm going to go to Multi Effects, Beat Breaker, nice. We're going to hit that mixer icon again, and let's go. So that's my tape. Uh, let's see. I'm going to edit. All right. I'm about to select all. Uh, quantize. Let me see. One sixteenth. Oh, I like copy. So I was having a lot of fun, but I just wanted to show you that you can use these samples to make real music. I was just having fun. Like I said, the drums sound really good. I just love raw drums. So, and I love chopping. So if you want samples that are royalty free, please get this plugin. It was so fun. I added in two other samples from that Chris Brown pack. So as you can see, these samples sound really good. They're yours. These are my samples forever. We learned so much today. We even learned how to set up Safari so that these samples can be downloaded to exactly where we want them to route. Yeah, so have fun with this. It's a great tool to have in your toolbox. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Meek.